Hi everyone, so I'll be taking you through the SendGrid email demo in this video. Uh, once this extension is installed from the marketplace, you'll see you're prompted to actually configure uh, the extension in this blue text and there'll be a button that opens up this window that has a SendGrid from email and an API key as variables that we need to enter. So to actually get this SendGrid API key, we can follow these installation instructions uh, the first step just being to sign up and create an account. If you don't already, there's a link to do that. Um, then just go into settings, API key, create an API key, give it a name, choose the access that you wish to have, create it, and then just get that API key and copy it. So I already have a uh, SendGrid account, so I'll actually just go into my dashboard, show you how to do this. So this is the view you would see once you sign up. You go into settings and then API key here on the left side. And then you go up to this top right button and hit create API key. And once this opens, we'll give it a name and I'll just say uh, testing one, two, three, and I'll give it full access for now. And then we go to this bottom right, create and view button. And here is our API key. We can just one click copy that, come back into Xano, and I'll just paste it into this variable box and I will write my email down for SendGrid from email. I'll click update, and that blue prompt changes uh, to green and says the extension is configured. And now let's go ahead and view the demo. So I already have this window opened up here, and we're taken to this page where uh, we can first test the SendGrid email extension with our Xeno account, and also get the source code, which can be very helpful. And there's this little description here. So I'm gonna uh, test this with the Xano account. And here there's another prompt. We're asked for the Xano base URL and we're told that it's found in the Xano API group. Okay, so back to Xano and into our API page. And there was a API group um, that was created for this SendGrid extension. So I'm just gonna click into that. And here on the right side, here is our base request URL. I can click this button to one click copy it, go back to the demo and just paste this where it's asking me to in this blue box, click update settings. And here we can actually compose an email and I'll send this to myself and I'll just say subject hello, body hello world. And I can go ahead and click send test email. And it was a success. So we were able to use that SendGrid API while using Xano as our backend, and there's a notification on my phone that I just got that email. So it's as simple as that, and that's all you need to know for the SendGrid uh, API demo.